Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade One, and we are learning Unit Two under the title My Beloved Country. Today is Lecture Five, and we are going to read and understand the text. And we we'll locate text by looking at pictures and titles, page number eleven and twelve. In your previous class, general knowledge C, you have studied about my culture, and your teacher has taught you a lot about Pakistani culture by showing pictures. Today, we'll further study about it, and in today's SLO, we we'll locate text lessons by looking at titles and pictures. Narrated by Hazrat Ans Razila Tala and Ho, whenever the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam returned from a journey and observed the walls of Medina, he would make his mount go fast, and if he was on an animal that is a horse, he would make it gallop because of his love for Medina. This hadith has been mentioned in Sahih Bukhari. One eight zero two. Now, my dear children, you see, whenever our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is out of Medina and he's coming back, the moment he looks at the walls of Medina, he used to make his pace fast so that he can reach to Medina quickly. Why? Because of his love for Medina, the way we want to reach home quickly. So this country, our country, is also just like our home, and to love your homeland is the beautiful Sunnah of our Prophet, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And we are going to learn many things about our country in this lesson. So first, I ask you, what do you understand by this title, my beloved country? What does beloved mean? Beloved means dear, and what is our country? Pakistan. So it becomes my dear Pakistan. My dear Pakistan. Yes, Pakistan is very dear to me. So you tell me when did Pakistan come into being? Do you remember? You have studied it. Yes, it is August 14, 1947, almost 74 years ago. And who is the founder of Pakistan? You remember? Yes, it's Qaid -e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Right. Now open your book on page number 11. We are going to start reading. And before that, on this page, find the beautiful flag of Pakistan. Can you locate it? Okay, pause the video and with your pencil, circle that beautiful flag. I hope you circle this beautiful flag of our beloved country, Pakistan. Now I'm going to start reading from this very first line. Listen carefully because after me, you have to read. Pakistan is my country. Pakistan is an Islamic country. I told you in introduction lesson there are many countries in the world and Pakistan is our country. We got it after many, after huge struggle of our elders. There are beautiful green lands and what green lands are? That's here. It is a natural picture of Kashmir Valley. You may find many. So this is what Greenland means. Our northern area, our KPK is full of these sceneries. There are rivers, high mountains. By the way, what are rivers? In fact, on our mountains, there is snow. When the snow melts, it converts into water. And this water flows to lower areas. In this way, a river is developed. And green fields in my country. 
and green fields look like this green fields people can enjoy natural beauty here natural means something which allah has created and that is here you see people from all over the world come to enjoy this natural beauty alhamdulillah allah has given us mountains and desert as well most of the people live in village so village life is like this they are very kind and hard working what does kind mean being gentle to deal others in a very caring manner means kind so people here in pakistan we are kind and hard working what does hard working mean to put extra effort to do something like we do work with a lot of effort we are not tired of doing work alhamdulillah so they grow different fruits and vegetables for us so all the fruits and you see we grow very special kind of fruits in our country and as i told you in lecture introductory lecture that we export we send these fruits and vegetables to other countries as well these are very fine kinds of fruits and vegetables and our villagers grow it allah has blessed pakistan with all four seasons and what four seasons are spring autumn summer and winter what does blessed mean here you have read this word bless blessed mean to have something that you feel in special or lucky we are lucky because allah has given us these seasons that's like this like this is a same place it's spring here then summer comes again here it's autumn and winter the place is same and the weather is changing so who does it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alhamdulillah it's a huge blessing so in this way we have read the first two paragraph on page number 11 now i suggest teachers kindly pause the video and make the children to read these paragraphs in turn by turn like make every child to read one or two sentences so that everyone can read something from these paragraphs all right pause the video and make the children to read okay are you done with it let's move on here on page number 12 this is the beautiful map of our country and the province's name has been mentioned here what you are supposed to do i'm giving you a project you have to draw and color map of pakistan you may follow the pattern which is given to you you have to label the provinces and present your work to the class also ask from your teacher what green and white color represents in pakistani flag and what does the moon and star mean in your flag and this is a question again we have to find out can you name few beautiful hilly areas of pakistan in this way we have learned today uh, what we we read we read and we understood the text and we located the text and lesson by title and by pictures in this way alhamdulillah we achieved our today's slo to locate text lessons by looking at titles and pictures all right tomorrow again we will read rest portion of this unit and uh, what you are supposed to do i have given your project and you have to read what we have read in class you have to read it at home once or maybe more than once all right so that's it for today's lesson tomorrow i'll come with another very interesting lesson till the time take care thank you and allah hafiz